In this short video, I'm going to show how easy it is to put together a website on your Mac using Sandvox from Corellia Software. My uh, website is going to have a blog, a home page, and a photo album, although there are a lot more things that I could add to it. So let's get started. Here uh, I'm just going to make a new site, and Sandvox will set that up for me. Here's my site. Uh, across the top I have different designs I can choose from. There are 50. You can find more online if you don't like any of these. So I'm going to pick rounded blue. Uh, my default, by default, I have a uh, a home page which is a, a rich text type of page. There are other types of pages to choose from over here on the uh, pages button menu, and you can see rich text, photo, so on, download files, etc. The other two types of uh, elements that you use to create your site in Sandvox are pagelets which are small versions of pages that are embedded in other pages and collections which are collections of pages so if you want to add a web log or a photo album those are going to be collections if you want to add a, a Flickr badge that's a pagelet Alright, let's, uh, let's add a pagelet to the uh, home page and we'll use the, the Flickr uh, badge. There it is. Well, the other a uh, couple of other important things to uh, note about Sandvox. Uh, you'll be using the inspector here quite a bit and we can see that for the, in this case the Flickr badge, all the settings for that are handled through the inspector and uh, we can choose to show fewer uh, images and we can choose a different tag and there are some other options but let's just keep it simple I'm gonna change my tag to Olympics and that's that so I'll have six different Olympic photos uh, each time I, I uh, open that page alright let's move on to a new collection in this case I'm gonna add a web log but let's just get it set up so a weblog is a collection which consists of other pages and uh, each blog entry is a page so it's uh, pretty simple let's fill it out I'm gonna edit my first entry here let's look at how we can add a, a photo entry to the blog so very very easy uh, just add a photo page to your blog collection and give it a title and then let's go to the media browser and locate a photo on my computer and what's great about the media browser particularly when it comes to photos is that it can read your aperture iPhoto or Lightroom libraries as well as locate images anywhere else on your computer so I like this one let's drag that in and Sandvox will update okay it's updated here's my photo on my blog page and if I come back to my blog we'll see that I have two entries okay here are my entries in reverse chronological order just as I would expect for a web blog alright let's go back and now I'm going to add a, a photo album to my site and again a photo album is a collection I've set up uh, my album with a description and a title and the next step is to add the photos and this couldn't be too much easier to do we we'll go to the media browser and let's locate a few photos that we want to add in and I can just select those and one more and we we'll just drag them onto the uh, photo collection or for the photo album collection and it creates a page for each photo sandvox puts together a page for each photo and then um, creates an index okay my photo index is set up and we can see all the uh, thumbnails here and then I can jump to that image by clicking on it and then I can also browse uh, using the arrows or I can jump back to the index 
so that was pretty easy. Let's go back and modify the uh, the home page, and I'm just going to edit my text here. Okay, there's my uh, home page now, and I'm going to make some changes to my site. I'm going to add my home page to my site menu. Uh, so you can see I, now I've added uh, home, and I want to shorten these other ones. So for the web log, I'd like it to say uh, blog in the menu. And then I'll leave tulip photos like that. That looks fine. So I've got my uh, home page, my blog, and my photo album set up. And uh, one of the great things about uh, Sandbox is you can just change things by typing directly, and there's no preview mode or different modes. It's all right there. And in this case, I don't think I need a, a subtitle, so I'll get rid of that. And now uh, it looks pretty good. I like uh, I like what I have. Um, and that's pretty much it for a basic site that I want to use. I, I could add more things in here. There are a lot of other page types that you can work with, like uh, an Amazon wish list. Uh, you can embed an external page. You can have a contact form. You can put in a YouTube video and so on. You can even add your own HTML in there. Uh, one thing I do want to change, though, is down at the bottom where it says parting words. I want that to be a contact link. So I'm typed in contact me and then I choose a link from the edit menu create link and what's uh, what's great about this is that I just type in uh, my email address and Sandvox takes care of the rest. Okay okay so if I mouse over the contact me I can see that um, it's been set up correctly alright so my sites all done for now with the home the blog and the photos and the, the last step really is to publish it so if I have a uh, web space set up with a host uh, Sandvox makes it really easy to to uh, communicate with the host and, and upload all the files and put them in the right places uh, it's even easier when you're gonna do this using the mobile me service and so I'll show that um, I do have a mobile me account and I'm gonna put it on there All right, I'm gonna give it a, a subfolder name on my uh, mobile me site and then I click continue and Sandvox uh, figures everything out make sure everything's gonna work everything looks good click continue I'm done now I click publish to actually upload everything and the first time you do this is it will take a little bit longer because all the files have to be uploaded but after that it's really only uh, uploading the changes so it's much quicker depending on what you've done okay my sites uh, been uploaded now let's take a look at it in the web browser okay here's my new site that's been uploaded to my uh, dot Mac account and you can see I've got my three sections my home page the blog with two entries and my photo album and I can do the same stuff on here and it's actually uh, very fast to browse through these to move around and so on and uh, I've got my Flickr badge and everything's looking pretty good and my contact me link works so I'm all set. The next step would be to uh, go back and add more stuff to my uh, website. It's a quick look at uh, how you can set up a website in just a few minutes using Sandvox from Corellia Software. And if you're interested in trying it out, you can download a free demo at Corellia.com.